So let's talk about it. First alert, Chief Scott Paget is here, and uh, this is this is that dangerous kind of cold. Yeah. And again, you know, it's it's not like it doesn't get cold around here once in a while, but prolonged two, three days, or even more. That's when it can be trouble for a lot of people. It can be trouble. It's going to be the coldest air of the season. We haven't seen this yet, and we know it gets cold here, but then when you add, add in winds gusting up to 50, it's going right. to feel like five degrees below zero. So, We're not used to that. Not used to that. Uh, so here we go with the coldest air of the season on the way. So here we are going into tomorrow afternoon, late afternoon hours. Watch how this cold air just starts to plummet its way down to the south right there as we then go into Thursday morning. Still, we're at 47 degrees right around about five in the morning. That does not last long. That's probably the warmest part of the day because this front that moves through and we have temperatures then into the 20s in the afternoon hours. Then by the time we get to Friday morning, feeling like this forecast model is saying 15 degrees. I think we're to be colder than that. And when you factor in the wind, it will feel even colder than that. And still, as we go through the day on uh, Friday into Saturday, still seeing temperatures maybe below that freezing mark. So by Friday morning, again, this forecast model 12 to 15 degrees. I think we're going to be possibly 10 to near 9. Nine degrees in some spots. So the coldest temperatures ever. Yes, we remember back in 2021, February 16th, the actual low temperature was two degrees below zero. We will not be that cold, but it's going to be cold enough. You need to pay attention. That's why we're alerting you right now and calling for first alert weather days for Thursday and Friday. The forecast low on Friday, nine degrees in the morning, Saturday morning, about 15 degrees. So that's what we're talking about. These first alert weather days, the front moving through those winds gusting up to possibly 50 miles per hour. You want to secure some of the holiday decorations, make sure anything that's in the backyard is also going to move them inside. If you can, we're going to be dealing with those falling temperatures and those dangerous wind chills on the way. So the future feels like temperature, possibly by the time we go into Thursday afternoon, feeling like two to near nine degrees. Want to show this to you again. It could feel like below zero by two degrees to seven degrees below zero by Friday morning, even into Friday afternoon, feeling like the teens still same story than going into Saturday morning, feeling like the single digit. So please keep that in mind and plan accordingly. Next 10 days, we will see temperatures drop, I think, below freezing right around noon on Thursday. And we remain below freezing all the way through the day on Friday. We bump back up, I think, just to the freezing mark around 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, temperatures back into the low 40s. And then by next Friday, we're near 70 degrees. We have uh, the Arctic air is on the way. And as we have that cold front moving in, maybe in the northeast sides of North Texas, some flurries around. But your seven day forecast shows the low 50s the next few days. We'll see those temperatures dropping through the day then on Thursday. And then as we go into next week, you saw that steep peak of temperatures, Doug. We're back to 52 by Monday.